This is my rapier loom. The ideas are taken from uh, Hugh Ramage's rapier loom, which actually worked. And Mr. Yurt Siver from Turkey, who makes miniature looms from brass and other materials. This version has a few interesting drive mechanisms. The actual weaving part was not too successful, but I don't want to spend any more time on it as I've been working on it for months. I'd like to move on. The heels are the most interesting difference in that they are not Meccano heels. They are narrow strips with holes on quarter inch spacing as an alternative. There's 40 of them in this loom and they seem to work quite well. Uh, this is the mechanism for raising and lowering the heeled frames quickly so that they are in their relative positions for a longer length of time. They don't gradually change places. They snap from one position to the other. They are in their resting positions for more of the cycle, giving the rapier more time to move through the shed, as it's called. And the sleigh is moved backwards and forwards quite simply. by the cans which are made from a bush wheel and a wheel disc bolted to it. The mechanism for driving the rapier is actually rather crude, but I had to resort to this after a few design changes which negated the original method of driving it. And as you can see, the driving arm is suffering greatly it's being bent which I'm sure could be fixed but as I say I've had enough of this one the other difficulty is the basic premise of this kind of loom I believe it's called an Argentine loom where at this end you see that the weft just loops backwards and forwards and isn't held rigidly and therefore it tends to slip about all over the place and uh, it's not firmly held like it is at this end where the weft goes alternately between the two sets of warps. That's it. Maybe I'll try again one of these days and build a rapier loom that actually works. Okay, thank you for watching.